Hello and welcome to this uh, feature overview video of Notion SLE for Miroslav Philharmonic. Notion SLE for Miroslav Philharmonic is the second product of the Notion SLE line, which stands for Single Library Edition. And what this product is, is a notation and a playback engine for a particular library, in this case, Miroslav Philharmonic. So what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you some of the playback, uh, score editing, score creation, as well as audio mixing features that Notion SLE for Miroslav Philharmonic uh, gives you. And we'll be playing a piece, uh, a full orchestra piece, driving the Miroslav Philharmonic library with nothing but uh, standard notation symbols. So to begin with, uh, the uh, initial launch screen, Miroslav Philharmonic SLE, uh, opens up with a series of templates. Uh, there are not too many, but they're enough uh, to get you started, and uh, you'll be able to customize them later. Uh, you have the standard piano, violin, string quartet, brass ensemble, woodwind quartet, brass quartet, string orchestra, and then full orchestra template, as well as the option to create a new score. Creating a new score and uh, using the uh, instruments uh, of the library is really straightforward in any SLE product. Basically, the instruments of the library are organized into pre-programmed instrument presets that are available in score setup and basically this is the palette of instruments that are available uh, for us and what you can do to start writing a score is simply select an instrument click it in and then what will happen is the program will automatically launch an instance pre-programmed with patches that in turn are responding to score elements uh, onto your notation so anything you write uh, is going to be playback by the appropriate uh, patch if that patch is available of course. So um, writing and creating scores is no longer bound by long hours of creating templates. The templates and the instruments are pre-programmed and are ready for you uh, and ready to go. Now I'd like to open up the demo score that comes with um, SLE for Miroslav Philharmonic and what you'll see is that this is a huge uh, orchestral score that comprises of those uh, instrument presets and in fact it's uh, it's using quite a lot of instruments um, and all of them will trigger the corresponding patches required by the articulations so here's the score you can see that it's it's a qu quite a demanding score um, and we've also placed uh, a lot of different articulations. Here's some staccati, here's some bliss marks, here's some tremolos. And uh, right away, I want to show you those articulations will play from the patch of the library. There we go. So once we know that we have a tremolo patch, and that tremolo is going to be triggered. Now, listen for the staccati here. So the staccati would play. Anything that has an associated patch will be triggered. Even things like sul ponticello, for example. So this mapping uh, of score symbols and uh, corresponding library patches is done all behind the scenes, and it's all uh, ready for you to start just writing and not worry about programming. Of course, you can. Uh, you can still customize the uh, the presets or the BSDI instruments in any which way you like as you bring up the interface and uh, tweak the appropriate um, the corresponding parameters but basically the idea is that you're ready to write from the get-go so here's this uh, the demo score that we're gonna play uh, for this demonstration and uh, I'd just like to say that it has been uh, done with zero programming on on my part there is absolutely nothing but uh, the performance of the score and the recording of the performance of the score uh, that I have used to uh, create this piece and it's all playing back with the samples of uh, Miroslav Philharmonic. So here we go.
as you heard, uh, all of those uh, articulations resulted in uh, different uh, playing techniques uh, being triggered. Um, Notion SLE would also interpret things such as glissandi, for example. So you can write a glissando, you can even put a uh, custom harp tuning and uh, the glissando will follow your custom uh, harp tuning. Now as far as uh, uh, programming, the samples is uh, only one part of the production process of course. You need to be able to mix your audio so here's where uh, Notion Mixer will come into place. This is uh, what Notion SLE has in terms of a mixing board. You can see it really is a standard audio mixer. Uh, with uh, 32 uh, different channels out. Um, actually, no, with 32 pairs out. Um, you may not be able to see that on your screen, but the, the channels are actually from uh, channel 1 and 2 to channel uh, 63 and 64. Those are the pairs that we give you. You have four inserts, four buses. Um, you have the standard solo mute, and of course, uh, you have panning controls, which are stereo panning controls that, that you can use. Um, so with this mixer you're manipulating audio directly uh, in decibels so you have direct control over your audio you don't have to use some sort of MIDI translation to go to that. Uh, you can also use rewire with Notion SLE uh, it is a rewire host and a rewire slave. Right now I don't have any rewire devices but if you do uh, you will see them uh, you'll see them over here on that uh, on that particular section where you can add an auxiliary channel and then being able to use Notion SLE as a rewire device together with either a rewire slave or a rewire host that you want to work with. Uh, those are the playback controls and of course uh, you have a little uh, performance uh, display over here. One of the most fascinating features of Notion 3 and Notion SLE is the ability to perform a score. So if I click perform here, uh, I can basically tap and conduct this score in real time. You can see I'm speeding up and slowing down. What I'm actually doing is uh, I'm just tapping on the computer keyboard, on the middle row of the computer keyboard. And I can stop, slow down, even cut off the sound entirely and then continue when I want to. So there's a lot more to the performance features. You can perform uh, to the beat or you can specify an exact rhythm to be performed. So um, there's a lot of power and a lot of uh, flexibility. Certainly no other notation programs uh, program offers as much power and flexibility uh, in performance mode as Notion 3 and Notion SLE. So, um, Finally, to be able to uh, use whatever you're writing uh, to uh, a project and communicate with uh, other software, uh, Notion SLE comes standard with Music XML Import and Export as well as WAVE uh, Export um, and, of course, MIDI in, uh, Import and Export.